So now let's come to the next point which is cryptography. Now cryptography as we saw in the uh, earlier example is about changing the human readable form of the information and this is done via some complex mathematical, uh, mathematical algorithms. Now there are two types of ways that we can encrypt data. We saw symmetric and asymmetric. Now in symmetric we have one standard key which is used to encrypt and decrypt the data in asymmetric. Uh, we use a set of keys where one of them is used to encrypt, the other is used to decrypt. And these days cryptography uh, is much more complicated than what we uh, heard about like the Caesar cipher. Now coming to process management. So what is process management? We saw that uh, we can manage risks using these uh, measures. Now we also need to have a process so that these me measures can be enforced and these risks can be avoided. So the first part of process management says governance. So in governance what we mean is we need to have certain rules in place or certain processes in place so that all of the above can be done. For example, if we look at defense in depth, we need to have a rule in place which says that you need to secure your network, the host, the application and your data. Then we have something called the incident management. In incident management, what we need to do is if there is an incident, say a breach or say a failure of any system, there has to be a process in which it is recorded and reported and by recording those incidents, uh, what we can do is have processes in the future so we can avoid those incidents from happening. Next we look at is change management. Now we saw that maybe certain incidents took place and there were certain changes that have to be brought in in the uh, policies or say in the in infrastructure. So how do you manage the change or it could just be you are updating certain systems. So now these systems have to be updated in a certain way so that it does not compromise the new uh, system that comes out after updation or while making this change uh, information is not leaked out. So that part is taken care by change management. But one of the major points that we have to always focus on is awareness. We have to be aware of what the policies are, why these policies are and how do they help us. And until unless we are not aware of it, there is always a risk. For example, something very commonly used is something called social engineering. So what is social engineering? Social engineering is basically uh, looking at the human side of the company or the employees of the company and trying to manipulate them by say faking as a employee of the company or by uh, trying to get uh, trying to get friendly with them and then trying to extract information out of it so until unless you are aware of why certain rules are there why certain processes are there for example certain companies have this policy of not having uh, pen drives allowed so there, there have been incidents when uh, people who wanted to get information out of a company or say access a network, what they would do is just leave certain pen drives with some malicious code in say some common place. Now what is the first uh, reaction that you have as soon as you find a pen drive? You just take the pen drive and try to see what data is available. The moment you plug in the pen drive, without your realization certain code could be executed which could compromise the security of the network. So awareness about the policies is the key in uh, having a network secure.